Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you are all well and safe. This is a photo that I'm going to be tackling in a 15 minute painting challenge. Uh, lots of detail in the foreground there. Uh, lots of abstract shapes. Bit of a lighthouse. Uh, I thought I'd do this because it reminds me of happier times when we were allowed to walk along beaches and uh, seafronts and go into little cafes and things so uh, really nice memories let's see if i can finish it in 15 minutes here we are in art rage then i'm giving myself 16 minutes uh, an oil painting very different from the other paintings we've got lots of detail in this foreground don't know how much of that i'm going to get in uh, we've got a little bit of a lighthouse going off, a few seagulls. Will I get them painted in? I don't know. Misty background, all happening. I've got 15 minutes to do this and I've got to stay calm. I've been told not to get too excited. People are putting comments. I get a little bit excited. But it's a challenge. I'm going to do this. 15 minutes starting now. Right, here we go. I've got my normal square brush selected. Let's get a cool color. I'm staying calm, guys. I'm staying very calm. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger. Got to get it in quick. <laughs> Even though I'm staying calm. Slightly up a bit as we're going down. Oh. I could soften this up a bit with a palette knife, maybe. What, which one have we got? Let's use um, our wet blender. Yeah, that sounds all right. Just to soften it up a bit. Just to smudge some of those edges together. That's it. Back to my paintbrush. Whew. That's not a paintbrush. That's my paintbrush. There we go. There's a bit of foreground in. Shall I put the buildings in? Let's do this. I feel that because I am staying so calm, I'm taking too long. Have a new layer. We are. Uh, let's put the wall in. Oops. I'm using the shift and the square bracket to make that brush big really quick. It's difficult not, not to lose your cool and uh, race along, I tell you. But I'm doing this because I have to say it's really, really, really uh, changed my paint. It's affected me painting a lot and I can see it. I can see it when I'm painting. I'm being a lot more confident, quicker, uh, just getting it in, not messing, not overthinking things. So I, I just think it's a valuable exercise to be doing. So it'd be great if, you, if everybody else has a go post your pictures in um, Digital Easel of course if you don't know what Digital Easel is it's a Facebook group loads of friendly people in there posting uh, the pictures it's a private group uh, we don't get any hassle or drama or anything like that uh, it's just really nice bunch of people and uh, it's a great way for me to get to see what everybody else is doing as well Ok, 
kind of like that. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I need to uh, think about some of these things now. The, the secret is, I think, that you get the all of the painting in so that um, if you run out of time, you've got something that kind of looks finished. I've got lots of these abstract shape things going off, which is going to be quite cool, I think. See, if I don't, if I only just put a little bit of detail in them there now, I'll say that doesn't matter. It's got it. Um, here we go. What's the time doing? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm struggling, not stressing out. I tell you, 10 minutes. I've used so much time. Maybe I should be thinking about putting the lighthouse in. I'm leaving the birds for now. I'm not saying I'm not going to put them in, but uh, I'm thinking that they could be an afterthought if I get a couple of minutes right at the end. <laughs> Just putting indications of these in because clearly I, I am not going to have time to fuss. I'm not putting the car in either. We don't need that. That adds nothing to the composition or anything. So why even bother? Why bother? I love the colours of the... What attracted me to this was the colours of the ropes. Things are just so really... It just add a lot to it. Uh, I'm liking these sort of little marks that I'm making. Just trying to put in this pile of rope. I've got some rope here. Let's get the white house in. White house. Lighthouse, sorry. Need to get that in. Don't know what the bottom looks like because uh, he's hidden by the car. That's going to be a problem. Time seven, eight minutes left. Not too bad, I suppose. I'm fussing. I'm I'm really fussing. Can't can't be doing that. I haven't got time for that. Right. I think the lighthouse is on a really dark. Plinth. Well, I don't. I, I pretty much know it is. What shape it takes, I'm not so sure about. So I just have to be a bit, use a bit of imagination, something like that, I think. <clears throat> um, I think we need the C in here. Oh, 
not quite the same as the paint as the um, photograph but there you go I wanted to put that in so I can then uh, just put some little handrails in there something like that got these other baskets here I can put in and that will tie uh, this foreground in with the uh, right up to the lighthouse Get a basket in there and a basket on top of that just sort of pushes all of that back into um, into just a blur which is what I want, just a suggestion of what it is. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go crazy with detail and stuff. Because obviously I've only got four, nearly five minutes left. So that's cool. I like that. Seagull then, shall we put the seagull in? I'm tempted. Don't like that bit of dark I've got on there. Let's get rid of that first. I think if I put a seagull in, we need. Oh no, let's work on this rope a bit more. I think I need something in this foreground. Let's let's go to um. Let's change brushes. We've got time. Thick gloss. Oops, a bit bigger. I want a thin brush just to sort of put some texture with the netting on here. Like that. There we go. Let's have a new layer so I can get some proper darks in. Oh, wow, that is a bit dark. A little bit thinner. I'm going to use the palette knife just to So I'll smell that out a bit. It was just a bit too much. Time two minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> that last few minutes went really, really quick. Trying to make it look painterly. Brush being Steve, stop missing that. <clears throat> Let's 
से Fifty seven seconds. Fifty seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm panicking. Sorry. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I'm panicking. Get the brush down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thirty seven seconds. Uh, oh, that's dire. Try again. Try again. Nope. That's it. That'll do. Uh, I've just put. Uh, Ten seconds. That'll do. Finished. Whoa, man. That was intense. I do like it. I like it. I know it's scribble and there's a lot of scribble on there, but I love the freshness of it and I do. I really like it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always. Much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget, stay safe, stay sane. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.